Hey guys, and happy Easter, and this is a special I'm doing for you to guy, for you guys today. It may not get up today, it may be up the day after Easter, which is tomorrow. I'm not really sure, um, I'm trying to get a really long episode in because I feel that you guys deserve it, you guys are awesome, and, uh, I want to do a really nice two-hour special for you. So this is going to be my two-hour special. You guys are going to notice some of these people, and you're not going to notice some of the people, well... You probably should recognize. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, so um, my current household, this is what I started up like last night. Um, and I built the whole house for this LP. I I don't know. I'm just excited about it. I don't know. So if you guys watch my 8 Little Sims, you're going to really appreciate this one because this is what I'm considering to be my 24 Little Sims. Now you're going to say, you don't have 24 Sims. I know. Um, there's a reason behind that all. Um, and I have a very quick backstory that I need to tell you guys, um, about what's happened so far. So before I get into who's here, or before I get into the backstory, let me tell you who's here. So from my original, um, current household, which I'll be doing more on them, I just, I was recording, well, I was getting ready to record my other household, my current household, and my game stopped working, so I was like, forget it. And then I started playing this, and I was like, oh, this would be a good one to do. So... I'm doing it on this, but there is going to be my other current household, which I know that I told you guys that I'll be doing more on them. Um, I will be. It's just not right this second. Anyway, so that household is here. Wade, um, Carson, and Lynette are all here. They live in the house. This is Carson right here. Um, if you guys watch my 8 Little Sims LP, you'll notice that Alton, Luke, Veronica, um, Abby... Jacob, Megan, Alan, Amel and Amelia are all here. Um, if you watch my Millman family, you'll recognize Lena. And there's a little backstory on someone else that you'll see from the Millmans, but uh, I'll explain that in just a second. Um, if you watch my Black Widow Challenge, Pandora's here. Um, if you watch my Doomsday Challenge, Mason and Millie are here. And if you watch my Sims 3 Apocalypse College Start Challenge, uh, Kara is here. So everyone for my LPs, pretty much. I thought it would be fun to be able to play them on my own and be able to have some more time with them, get to know them a little bit better than I do in my LPs, and be able to enjoy life with them. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, back to the... Oh, Back to Lena. So, Lena has a twin brother. Um, his name is Laron. Well, the first night we were here in town, was it the first? No, the second night we were here in town, um, we had a very devastating night. Uh, poor Wade got arrested. And then immediately afterwards, you're going to notice poor Laron passed away. And it's just been really devastating. And I'm just really upset. So,. He's not out of the competition. He's just not doing it right now. He had a ton of days. You know vampires. They have a million times days. Um, what I'm going to probably do is I'm probably going to bring him back um, in this, in this, but um, not in this el this episode, but in this, el this whatever, game. Man, I can't speak. Um, anyway, so he was actually the color white in the, um, the house. He was our color white. Um... So, yeah, he lived down here in the basement, and this is his twin sister, uh, Lena's apartment. She's pink. And it was just really sad. He, like, passed away, and it was like, you know, they had mourning. And we had just gotten here. I was so upset, and it was such a shock because he wasn't even, like, beat red like Abby is right now. He wasn't even, like, that beat red, so I was really shocked that that happened. Anyways... So, we've got a couple of culinary people in this place. So, when I get on to them, which is Jacob, I believe, and I believe Mason. It's either Mason or someone else. Um, they're going to be the ones who are going to be... Um, working on bringing him back. So... Yeah. Anyways. Hold on, guys. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. These kids that live next to me, 
All right, this is totally off topic, but these kids that lived next to me, they were just outside playing baseball, and they just hit one of my windows, and it broke. So I had to go and check out the damage. And the parents came over and apologized, but it's still the point, like, they just broke my window, and they don't even care. All right, anyways. Anyways. Um, if you guys hear my cat, he's on my lap. He's a little sad today. Um... Anyways, he is purring, but he is upset. So he came to see me. Okay, um, I don't remember what it was saying, but anyways, he passed away the second day that we moved here, and obviously we're in Isla Parody, so if you couldn't figure it out. Um, I really love this town, and I love what it brings, but I've had that really bad lag with my other game, so I've been really hesitant on playing here. To be honest, it hasn't been too bad, um... But it hasn't been that great either. Uh, I still get the lag. I still get a lot of the other stuff too. But it's just like, it's really annoying that I get that. And I wish I didn't. Anyway, so, um, as I was saying, um, so he passed away and we're going to be getting Jacob. Well, I'm going to be getting Jacob and I believe it's Mason. I really do think it's him. I think he has like to learn all the recipes or something. I don't know what he has. To be honest with you, I really don't. Anyway, so they're going to be working together to bring him back on their days. But today is Abby's day. Um, and I, on, since Laron would have literally been between Pandora and Abby, uh, when it's Pandora and Abby's turn, I don't just switch over and I don't just give them the one day. I let them take the extra time that they need like if as if Laron was here he would take the time but since he's not I let them take it and what I'm going to be doing with them is I'm going to be helping out Jacob and um Mason on what they need so whatever they need uh Abby and Pandora are like their go-to girls uh they're going to be helping out if they need ingredients then we could help by taking Abby out and getting ingredients to do it now I've never brought back somebody, so I really don't know what you do to bring them back. So, if you guys know, let me know. I know it's something about Ambrosia, and you can get the Oh My Ghost opportunity. I actually haven't seen him come back since he died, and we're on week two. But I also did put his uh, gravestone in someone's inventory, because I thought that's how you got the Oh My Ghost opportunity, but I haven't gotten it, so I'm not really sure. Anyways, so... Wade is not doing so hot in finances. Um, because he got arrested, he got the $1,000 fine. And so he's been working to pay that back. He's actually at a negative 624 still. He doesn't make very much at his job, so he's really not doing that well. Um, Pandora, poor girl, she wanted to be a stylist, so I let her do it. Because her, her lifetime wish is, like, it's not, like, uh, job-related. So... She wanted to be a stylist, so I let her do it. But right now, she's sitting at negative 173 simoleons um, because she doesn't do her job by herself. Like, I would have to be there for her to do it. So, it's just really ridiculous. Anyway, so her... Who else is negative? Because there's someone else. I think it's Megan. Yeah, Megan is negative 13 because she literally set her whole house on fire and then left for work and... Everyone was, like, up there trying to, like, help her, like, you know, you know, put out the fire. But because the doors are locked, they couldn't get in there. And it was just really crazy. Anyways, so it was just really crazy. And I really was not appreciating it. But there's nothing I could do. I made her fully pay for it. So that's why she's still negative. She goes back and forth between negative and not negative. Anyways, so I'm going to roll the walls up. I'm going to show you what I did to the houses and show you kind of what they look like. Uh, poor Laron, this is his house. It's just kind of sitting here waiting for him. If I can't, for some odd reason, bring him back, I will get somebody else to take his place. Uh, I just feel bad. I feel like, you know, he needed that chance. And that was his, you know, he got his chance, but he didn't get a very long one. So I do want to bring him back and allow him to live his life to the fullest. And since it's just a personal game, it's not really that big of a deal. But I'm thinking about doing one of these, another one of these, not the 8 Little Sims, but a 24 Little Sims for an LP. So if you guys like this, let me know. And I'll probably do it here in Isla Paradiso and just use this house. Um, I could either use these Sims or I could make new Sims. doesn't really matter. Anyways, this is Lena's house. Um, 
as you can see, she's not doing so well at cleaning. It's pretty dirty, actually. And uh, for some odd reason, everything down here, like, that's white, like the... Um, the smoke detectors, the shower, this picture, if you look at the picture, it's like blue. I don't know if it's effect from being under the water or what, but it's really weird. Anyways, so this is her bed. Um, she's got a very different design on her bed. I really liked his design in his bed too. I don't know if you guys can really see it very well, but there he is right there. That's poor Laron. Um, I could clean it up, but I'm not going to. Uh, this is trees. It just reminds me that he was actually here. That is his diploma. I never got the picture of him, so I kind of feel really bad about that. But, I mean, it was like the second night, and I tried to get some of them pictures. All right, so as you know, if you guys watch the Apocalypse Challenge, this is Kara right here with the red hair. Um, and she lives here in this lime green room. Her room is pretty outrageously bright, but that's okay. Uh, this is the common hallway to all the doors that people have. This over here is Pandora. She is from my Black Widow Challenge. Um, she lives here. She's got a pretty nice apartment. I mean, it is broken. I told her to fix that like 70,000 times. She doesn't listen to me. Anyways, uh, Maroon is Lynette. She's the one from my uh, current household LP. I really love her little... Um, counters and things. I'm not set. I'm not saying that they're going to keep all this equipment and everything forever, but there she is. She's in the shower. Um, and she's got a broken sink as well. And she's got a really nice bed pattern as well. If you look at it, it's got like some flowers and stuff on it. It's pretty cool. What was hers? I forgot. Oh, she's got the stripy lines. And then you've got, what is that? I have no idea what that is. Anyways. All right, so Turquoise is actually Millie. She's from the Doomsday Challenge. She's just here, and they got pretty big spaces down here. She didn't finish cooking because she had to obviously head out to work, must be. Um, but they've got some pretty big spaces. So these guys have one-level apartments, um, and that's what I'm pretty much calling it. They got the apartment buildings down here. Um, so their apartments are only one level, but if you go up, some of them are two levels. So anyways, on the second floor, this here is Luke's apartment. He's already got his day because, obviously, I've already went through all these people. Um, so, in his day, we bought him a bookshelf, and he's been reading out of it. He's been having a good old time with it. Um, it pretty much looks like his other one, but he also gets this nice little patio, which I really like. I feel bad that the people downstairs don't really get them, but... I don't know. Anyways, so he gets his own little patio here, and uh, he also has a second floor to his apartment. Um, he doesn't really go up there because he doesn't have stairs up there yet, but he will at one point or another be able to head upstairs. It'll probably be where I put, like, his bedroom, his bath, um, possibly another bathroom. I don't know. Anyways, so this is his little apartment. He's got the little surfboards fence that you get with uh, Isla Paradiso. This here is a common, it's the common room entrance part. It's actually outside, so I mean, you get it. Um, and it goes through this glass door. It's not locked to anyone, and then whoever wants to come out here and move the boat, they can. The little thing to move the boat is right here. We haven't moved our boat yet, but I'm sure we will. Um, in time, anyways. All right. Um, Alton is red. He is here. He's got a different surface. Obviously, those are just the generic ones that you can get. Um, and he's got a pretty nice, uh, bed cover as well. And I didn't look at his. Oh, yeah, I do. I know what it is. Anyways, so he's got his. And, uh, I think I forgot to get his pictures, but I'll get them next time. He also has a nice little porch out here. And he has the second floor to his apartment as well. So, because these are a little bit smaller, I think, than the ones downstairs. If you look, I think they're quite a bit smaller than these are. So, that's why they got second floors. Um, and I was thinking I was going to be able to make enough with the two floors because I thought you could go down five levels on a houseboat, but I guess you can't. So, that really stinks. Anyways, this is Abby's, the girl that we're working with right now. Today is her day. And this is her apartment. She's hot pink. We've already got her photos and her um, diploma on the wall. Um, I think her inventory is pretty good. I need to put this out, so when I go back over to her, I'm going to do that. She's already, re she's already read her book, so she's good there. And she also gets another floor, too. And then she gets a very small little porch here. So that's kind of why I made her apartment building a little bit bigger. Because she didn't get the very big um, porch like they did. So her apartment's a little smidge bigger. Um, but she gets a smaller porch. So that's the downfall. This is just, like I said, the common area where they come onto the boat. 
Um, I will be putting some things out here, possibly like hopscotches and, you know, little fire pits and things for them to do. Right now, they don't have anything because the house was too expensive to put anything else out here. And then on the second floor, they also have this balcony up here where I'll be putting things like a grill and seating area. You could eat out here. You could do what you want. Um, but I thought that'd be nice. Anyways, so this is what it looks like for the top floor for the next people. They don't have two balconies, just one. I thought one was plenty. And it really opens it up if I don't have a, like a floor on each one. So I think it's nice. Anyways, moving on up. We're up here. This is Wade's apartment. He is from my current household as well. He's black. And he has a pretty nice one too. It's kind of more girly, I think. But that's all right. It's just like leaves and things. Um, he's got the black fence. He's got his own little... Uh, little balcony here so he's got a really nice one and obviously he's got the next floor as well so he's got a double floor apartment too everyone's pretty much the same but you know did I buy anything else for anyone downstairs um I don't think so I think Luke was really the only one. Oh well I did buy Wade a street art kit but he already had one so it was like a waste of his money but anyways alright so this here is Mason's apartment Mason is uh, silver or gray, whatever you want to call it. He's got some pancake or waffles out here that he hasn't taken care of. His day has not actually come up, so as you know, I haven't gotten his pictures or anything up on the walls. And uh, he's got a balcony as well. He shares it half and half with Wade. I really couldn't see Wade and him kind of getting along. I think Mason's kind of more of a pretty boy and all uh, Wade is more of a, you know, go out there and kind of get him kind of guy. But that's all right. Anyways, he's got the two apartment as well. Um, over here is Veronica's apartment. She has already had her day. We bought her a music box, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, and it's something she wanted, so I thought it was okay. Um, and I've already got her pictures up. Hers is set up a little bit differently because she's got a very different shape to hers. If you look at the shape from that to the shape of these, this is a very different shape. So she's got kind of a smaller apartment. And then she's got another um, small little porch here. And it goes up to the sec to be a second floor apartment as well. So she's got a double floor and a smaller little bit of house. So it's unfortunate, but that's all right. She shares with Alan. He is green. And uh, Alan here, he's got a very different kind of wallpapering that I really liked. His apartment is set up just like Veronica's is. I haven't gotten him. He's actually come up pretty soon. Might even come up in this LP or this episode. I'm not really sure. Um, he's got the green little fence and he shares half and half with Veronica. And he also has a second floor as well. Um, these are all little common areas. They can all go into them. They can all go upstairs if they really want to. It really doesn't matter um, because everyone's apartment doors are locked to just them and there won't be any doors here. I'm thinking of possibly doing like, you know, skill building items and things that won't fit in certain people's apartments putting them on these floors or doing like common living room areas or a common kitchen area. I'm not really sure or putting little bathrooms out here. I'm not really sure, but um, I kind of thought about it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that yet. So we'll see. Anyways, moving on up where this is, uh, do we need to replace a door? Oh, Megan, I didn't know you had to replace your door. Uh Oh, so Megan's got to pay out another 590 simoleons for her door. Anyways, this is Megan's apartment. She's the one who had the fire, as you can tell. Not so doing so hot in here. She did clean up most of it because it was like the whole thing over here was gone. I had to replace her fridge, her stove, and now I guess I forgot to replace her door because I didn't realize that she had to replace it, but now she does. Uh, Megan's day has not come up. Megan is coming up in a couple of people. Um, and hers is definitely different as well. She's got this little area here that's kind of an outside area too. Um, she's got a balcony as well. She shares it with Amelia. Um, but that's right. They're actually really good friends. So it's kind of funny that the people who share, um, this balcony are like really good friends. It just kind of cracks me up. Anyways, so... Oh, did I do your guys' colors? No, I didn't. Okay. All right. Anyway, so this is Megan. She's got the tropical little wallpapering that comes with Isla Paradiso herself. And I'll show you where this heads up to in just a second. All right. So moving on over, this is Mason's. Yeah, this is Mason's house. Didn't I already say Mason had a house? The one downstairs is not Mason. It's Carson. Sorry about that, guys. Um, he's a very dirty person. He has a very dirty place. He also has this very weird-looking room. 
Um, and I'll show you where that goes to in just a second. Um, he has a balcony too. It's a bigger balcony like the people downstairs. And then the people in the front kind of got dipped on the balconies. But that's all right. Anyways, so this is their balcony areas. Um, they're having a probably a... Yeah, they don't have anything. They don't even come out here because they don't have anything to do out here. But anyways, that's all right. Um, so he's this is Mason's house. And, you know, he's filthy. So... He's got a filthy one. And I'll show you just where that goes to in a second. Um, Mason shares a balcony with Jacob. Jacob is here. He's got the very tropical themed uh, bed and very bright colored room. He is yellow, if you couldn't figure it out. Um, and he's also got this weird shaped room. I'm hoping they can get up those ladders and be able to use that room. I'm not sure. I haven't checked it. Um, but Jacob, this is his room. And he's got the balcony as well. Now, Amelia, I already told you, she shares with Veronica her balcony. This is her room. Like I said, I haven't gotten to her either. Um, she's actually been fired, so that's, you know, I don't know what she does with her life right now. Um, Veronica was also fired because of bad quality work, so, you know, bad stuff. All right, anyway, so she's got this really weird shaped room as well, and I'll show you guys where that goes into in just a second. And then this is her balcony. So these guys are on what you would call the top floor, really, of the apartment house. If you look at it, it's like one, two, three, four, five. So really, they couldn't get a second apartment, but they had the smaller apartment rooms kind of in a way. Um, these rooms are obviously bigger than the ones downstairs, if I show you. This is a little bit smaller than this is, but still, it's smaller than, I believe, the downstairs area. So what I did was I gave them balconies up on top of the roof. Um, I put in lights up here, and I separated out by fencing so that the certain areas could only go to their certain things. They're not able to actually, you know, crawl over the wall, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but this is their balcony areas, and this is what they get for their second floor. So if you look at the house, this is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of very original. I really like it. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I mean, it's not something I would use for an everyday basis kind of house, but it's something I would use for this kind of house, and I think it's really nice. The thing is, is the people that are down in the basement, yeah, they kind of get gypped a little bit because they don't get, like, outdoors and things. Um, but that was kind of the luck of the draw. Um, it was when I was, when I was going through, what I did was everyone who already had a color that I already knew of, um, they, I was kind of basing it off of them and then I was just adding different colors in like black and gray. I didn't have, I did have blue, red, hot pink, yellow, orange, green, and purple, and the mint color. So they're the ones that kind of got this because I already knew their colors. Um, so that was kind of, you know, a given. Um, the people like Wade and Carson and those kinds of people, and I think Mason, who didn't actually have a color when I started making the house, it was just the luck of the draw. What I did was I went through and I looked at what their clothes were. Wade is dressed in all black, so he kind of took over this uh, area. And then when I added him in, I just gave him the apartment. Um, Lena, I didn't have a color for her, and I had to change her, so I wasn't able to give her a color upstairs. And she, I didn't really think she fit brown or gray, so I didn't give her one of those. Carson was coming up next, um, so he got the gray. Mason was next, so he got the brown. And I just kind of went through and did it that way. I did what colors fit with them best and went from there. <laughs> but look at our massive apartment, our house. Compared to this little houseboat or this little houseboat, it's kind of funny. Anyway, so I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of each floor quickly. Not going to spend too much time going back through it. It's pretty much just what it is. Um, there will be more being added to it eventually. But like I said, right now it's not really meant to have a lot. It's meant to just be what it is and that's pretty much it. So we're on Abby. She's on this floor. She gets the windows and all that thing. I tried to put windows downstairs to see if it would help bring in some like sunlight from in the water. But it wouldn't let me. So I couldn't really do that. Anyways, so this is the house. I'm really happy with it. I think it's really nice. Let me guys let me know what you guys think. I thought this little idea of putting this here so everyone could use it was kind of nice. And the reason I did these ladders on this floor and then I did the spiral, spiral staircase is because I couldn't do the spiral staircase here because I actually couldn't get it to go there if I wanted to do the door for the port. And I did want to do that. So I just put the spiral staircases starting up here. And then I did the one going down because I had I forgot I was going to have to do one for down here. So I just did it there and it's on the opposite side so that, you know, 
people could get up and down pretty easily. So I thought that was nice. Um, I really wish you could do more floors to the basement, but I guess you can't. So whatever. Anyways. Anyways. Um, so yeah, that was our house. This is the overview of it again. Um, like I said, it's, I think it's pretty cool looking. It's not, you know, um, perfect, but it is pretty nice. And the balconies up here are all exactly the same size. So the people, those people didn't get dipped at all. It's just the people down in the basement who kind of got dipped a little bit, but, um, they can put their items outside. Yeah. Everyone else will be able to use them, but I'll find out a way. I'll find a way to fix it for them, so their lives aren't so you know crappy. Anyways, they're probably going to be the ones who probably either get with someone who's down here, which is mostly all girls. Uh, it's Kara, Pandora, Lynette, uh, Millie, Lena, and then Laron. Poor Laron. He could choose any of these girls except for his sister, obviously, um, and he had to pass away. So he had the helm to himself, and he had to go sooner than later. So that's sad. Anyways, now that I've spent, I don't even know how long. Oh my goodness, that long? Oh, <laughs> I thought it said I only had an hour. It's like, I sat here for an hour talking. No, it's only like 25 minutes. Anyways, so now that I've showed you guys the house, let me know what you guys think, and we're going to get into this. If you don't know the Eight Little Sims, um, I'll give you a brief overview of it. Pretty much, you just control one person every single day, except for the first day when you move in. I've already past the first day we moved in obviously so we're on to one person a day and since Laurent passed away until he's back Abby and Pandora get a little bit of assistance from me for a little extra time um, so Abby's just leaving work she is exhausted because I had her up late last night trying to get her photo taken look at that face she's like yeah she did <laughs> um, but so I'm gonna let her take a nap on the bench and then we're gonna head out and we're gonna go looking around town I have one place that I want her to go. Um, there is a couple of things that she needs to do before she gets to that point because she's, uh, you know, starving and stinky. But um, other than that, she'll be good. So she's going to take a nap. She's sleeping on a community lot. You go ahead and do that, girlfriend, and we will be here when you get up. Um, we're not going to sit here and stare at you while you sleep, but we'll be back when you get up. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking around Isla Paradiso for some life fruit because I know to be able to make, um, to be able to make, spit it out, uh, life fruit, we want to be able to be able to make life fruit. Ambrosia, we need to have life fruit. So we're going to look for some life fruit today since uh, she's getting a little extra time. She's going to help out with that whole process. Oh boy, you guys are not doing hot. All right, you're going to buy some food as well because you are pretty hungry. And then after that, I'm going to send you out to do some things that you need to do. Now she wants to get sneak past a bouncer. She wants to go to five hot spots and she wants to meet a vampire. Things that I can't really help her with too much. Uh, she does want to do charisma scale and we're going to work on that tonight. Um, but for right now, let's just get this taken care of and then we'll do that. All right. So, jumping up into map view, she's right here at the city hall, by the way. She, oh, I didn't tell you where everyone works. Uh, Wade works in the athletics career. Uh, Alton works at, in the military. Lena is the business. Uh, Luke is unemployed because he lost his job. He just lost it after work. Veronica just got back into the journalism. I'm hoping she's doing okay because I was just on her the other day. I told you Pandora's in the stylist career, which... Let me tell you, let's be honest, it's not a good career for her. Uh, Abby is in the um, political career. Jacob is the culinary. Megan is the athletics. Alan is music. Amelia, oh, Amelia lost her job too. She works over here. I had to place it for her too. No, not here. Um, she works here at the Plum Bob Pictures Black Back Lot because she needs to do the, I think it's actress career. Um, Lynette is unemployed still because I couldn't get her her singing job when we first moved in. So I was going to wait until I got onto her and I figured it wouldn't be that big of a deal because they go pretty fast. Um, Carson works at the city hall as in the political career. Mason works in the science career, which is definitely weird to me. Oh, you're married to Millie. I had no idea. Okay. Um, and Mason was flirting with someone the other day. So that's a little weird. Um, 
Uh, Kara is in the law enforcement career, which is very different because in my LP where I'm using her, she's not. She's in the medical career. And then Millie is in the military as well. I also added in a couple of lots. While she takes care of her knees, I'm going to show you what I did. I added in the Porta Party min Mini Warehouse. I just told you I added in the Plum Bob Pictures back, back lot because we had to for her job. Um, the other things I added in was the casino for them. I added in a performance park because if Pin, um, not Pandora, Lynette is going to be, oh, you want to light fireworks? Uh, you could take your greeting card photo. Uh, if Lynette is going to be, um, a singer, she's going to need those kinds of lots anyway, so that'll be fine. Uh, what else did I add in? I know I added in a couple of things, so let me just look around. Um... I edited the gym a lot. I mean a lot. Like I pretty much ripped the whole thing out and pretty much did it all. Well, not ripped it out. But anyways, I added in the pizzeria that I have in Mako. If you watch my Millman LP, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, what else did I add in? I added in the Cake Pleasure Dome and edited it a little bit. I added in the Tiny Prodigy's Early Learning Center for the painting easels and things like that. I added in the Duke of Bow's Renaissance Fair, um, which I really like. And we could go over and use that if we wanted to. And I just added in some things that I thought they may like to go and use. Um, Abby, how much money do you have? You've got a lot of negatives here. Uh, but you made 125 today, so you'll be okay. Um, go with the... Go with nachos. They actually sound really good. So let me write down minus 10 for her because she's spending $10. Now I've come up with a new way... Oh, yeah, we got to get a um, edit, um, map view, but that's all right. Um, I've added a new way to do their money, so I think that'll be fine. So, yeah, that's what I pretty much added to the world. Nothing really else I've added, so everything else really came with the town. And that's good because I didn't want to spend... I already spent, like, I think it was doing the house, I think it was, like, six hours, and doing the Sims and getting them all to their colors. I think that was about another hour to two hours. And then I spent about another hour just editing the world. It was really crazy. Oh, look at you and your little puppy. His name is Chico. That's too cute. All right, so we're going to go over to the community garden, which I didn't even realize very, like, I knew I knew that I had went to a garden here. I just didn't realize it was a community garden here in Isla Paradiso. So the community garden, I believe, is here. Yeah, we're going to go over here to Itch... Ichitaka Community Garden, um, and if you guys don't know who the Ichitakas are, I believe it's these guys right here. Let me just check. Yep, it is. Um, this is actually one of the houses that you have to fix. I actually have not fixed anything in this town. I've left it the way it was. I wanted to see if it was if it was going to work. If it wasn't, I was just going to take our houseboat and move some to another town, like Island um, Sunlit Tides or something. But so far, it's been okay. I do get a little bit of a lag once in a while, but a little lag here and there is okay. Um, it doesn't make it unbearable to play. As you can see, when she's walking, she froze there for like a second. But she went pretty good to the road. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe it's fixed. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out, I'm sure. Anyways, so we're going to head over to the community garden. I'm just going to look and see if there's any light fruits. Um... I don't think she needs to do anything for her job except for charisma, so she could do that. If someone's over here, we'll let her introduce herself to them. She's got, wow, 2,222 um, points for herself. And then tomorrow morning, we flip over to Jacob. So Jacob will be our next victim of the day. Um, poor Luke, he also got stuck out in the middle of the ocean next to one of the islands that you have to discover. And I couldn't like he wasn't doing anything and I was like oh god he's gonna drown so what I did was I just quickly re um clicked on him and told him to go home and he was fine after that it was just really scary I was really scared he was gonna die or like drowned in the water because he was just kind of sitting there doing nothing all right I should be coming over here and harvesting oh my goodness what am I thinking you're totally harvesting all this food we keep going and spending a million dollars at the um the store for groceries and we could have been coming over here and harvesting plants so I am totally crazy and I'm totally not spending any more money at the stupid um store I don't see any life fruit which is not good because sometimes they have them and sometimes they don't all right 
Oh, look at that. That's a little cute area. All right, you're going to start over here with the tomatoes, and you're going to start harvesting. This is going to be your little job. You don't have much to do, so get gardening. All right, stop. Go garden. We don't want to go all the way inside today. All right. People around town are just buying every lot available, I swear. Like, they don't even care. They're like, oh, that's a million dollars? Here you go. Don't worry about me. I'll just be broke for the rest of my life. Seriously, people, stop buying out all the lots. I was going to have some of my Sims buy out some of them, but, man, are they making it difficult to even think about it. <sighs> they drive me nuts. All right. <laughs> I'm just complaining, and I'm not even doing anything about it. That's the best part. All right. So we've got about two hours that we can harvest with and this way the woman said her daughter had died 20 years ago that is really sad oh goodness gracious Alan was warned one too many times and now has been fired oh my goodness Alan come on <laughs> seriously all right Wade you made 78 million so I always pause to do this just so you guys know it's not going to take as long as you think it is because I'm not adding it or anything. And I'll explain the new system I have. All right, 78 simoleons. Jacob, you made 148. Wow, Jacob, you're pretty close on money every single day. Yesterday he made 149, so today he made 148. All right, Megan, you made 78. Oh, Megan, you've got a big door you've got to pay back. Oh, yeah, we got to buy that back. Alan, 125. Where are you at? 125. <sighs> All right. So go ahead. So my little system is I made columns. Yeah. It's because Alan got fired. Oh, did somebody else get money too? No. Um, so... My little thing was, before I was trying to erase every single time they made money and add it or subtract it, and it was just making my paper really crazy. So what I've done is I've made columns, and for the whole time I'm not controlling them, I'm just writing down numbers. Either subtract this amount or add this amount. Like, I just wrote for, like, Wade, he just made 78, so I just wrote 78 because I'm going to add it. Um, if it were to subtract it because he spent money like Abby has, she's got a couple of subtracts. Um, I put like a minus and then I put the number. So I'm pretty much just keeping track of it that way. And then when I get back to them the next time, um, like Jacob tomorrow, before I can control him, I'll have to go and figure out how much I have to add to his money that he has from like the last, like that I already have con um, counted up for him. And I thought that was an easier way for me to keep track of it all and to be able to know like what, you know, what, how much money we have and how much we don't. All right, so, Abby, let's get this done, and then, oh, I was going to take that greeting card photo with you. We could, I don't really want to send you back over there to go take it today. Um, I might click on it for you tomorrow. Do you work tomorrow? Yeah, you work in 11 hours. Okay, well, when you're done here, let's have you go home, because you do need to get some sleep. You've only got about another 26 minutes, and then you're going to be exhausted. Probably fall asleep on the ground. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me in the least. Um... All right, so you're just harvesting. And this is going to help us because we've been spending, the last time I think everyone had to pay out $75 because, like, they went through, they go through stuff so quickly because they don't put it away, so it, like, goes to waste. They serve it, but they don't put it away. So it's like, what was the point of serving? You might as well just made it for yourself. Um, but, um, yeah, so they do that, and then they don't put it away, and then it's like a waste, so it makes me so angry. Anyways, um, so they've been going through food like crazy, and they've been emptying the fridge very quickly. So this way, at least we'll have something, and then they can use this to cook with. Not saying that we're not going to have to go buy groceries, because we probably will, but this is a way of us not having to go as often, at least. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty nice. All right, we're going to leave us here. Can we leave us here? Wait, wait, wait. I want to leave us here. Hold on. You go. We'll catch up with you. I'm trying to leave their cameras around town unless they need them. There is someone who needs them. That's why I'm saying unless they need them. Um, oh, she's in a car. Oh, she friggin' makes me angry. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had to get a drink. Okay. We're just leaving them at whatever town lot we go to. And I remember to leave them. Alright, here she is. She's at the house. We need to go up because she's on the next floor. 
All right, pause. I think you have to pay bills today. Yeah. So we've got to divide $627 or simoleons between 16 people. So let's see how much that comes up to. Um, I'm not good with math, especially when it gets up like past 10. I'm like, you know, I don't know. It's it's a number. <laughs> it's how much it costs them. 627 divided by 16. All right, so that's about, I'm going to say about $40. It's not exactly 40 but everyone's going to have to pay out 40 All right, go ahead and pay the bills, Abby. And then I'm going to get these groceries into the fridge. You couldn't have been too far away, or either you're just a quick, you've got a quick ride. Um, all right, so you're good, and then you can go to sleep because you're tired. All right, so $40 it is. And then what I'm going to just do is I'm going to write subtract 40 for everyone. And that way when I come on to them, I just re just calculate how much money and then I'm good. I don't have to like, you know, fuss around with it forever. Oh, not Laurent. He doesn't have to pay. Yeah, I still got him written down here. So sometimes I forget. Someone's calling someone. <laughs> Who is it? Luke? Luke, are you calling people? No. Who's this person? I don't even know. Paparazzi. Warren H Hadley. Is that what it said? Yeah, Warren Hadley. My cousin actually was married to a Warren and he cheated on her. So when I see a Warren, I'm like, oh, I just want to punch you in your throat. But it's not his fault. It's not his fault. All right, minus 40. He's a real scumbag. The real life Warren is. And I feel bad for saying that, but it is so true. You don't even know. You don't even know. All right. Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then there you go. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All right. I'm getting confused here. Got too many of these little columny papers. All right, Alton, you're taking a shower. Sounds good to me, buddy. All right, and I also forgot to write down for Va uh, Veronica that I bought her a music box. I just remembered I got to write that down. I know I'm all over the place here. All right, so Veronica, you got a music box. I don't know how much the music box is, so let me just quickly jump into buy mode. I'm just going to look. She doesn't want to buy anything, so I'm not going to get her anything. Uh, entertainment, miscellaneous. How much is it? It's just really, it's really cheap. A hundred. I knew it wasn't much. Okay. Because i got to keep track of what they buy. I've got to keep track of how much money they have. And other than that... That's pretty much all I gotta keep track of. Um, so I like this game. I think it's really fun. And since Abby is not gonna be making money, obviously, while she's sleeping, I'm gonna go ahead and calculate up how much. Um, what's his name? Jacob has. All right. So Jacob has in his bank right now 391 simoleons. I have to add to that 149. Plus also 148, and that comes up to 680, and then I just subtract the 40, which gives us 648 as his total for this, for when we play him. That'll be how much he has. See how it's just so much faster and so much easier just to calculate it all at one time? I like that better. All right, so you're 648 for tomorrow, Jacob. All right, people are going crazy. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, it's Alton. I think his... I don't know what he's having a fit about, really, to be honest with you. Maybe he was trying to clean this. His sink isn't broken last time I knew. Anyways, and then what I do is I just delete, or delete, erase what I wrote for his week. Because then I know that I've already added it in. So then the next time I get to him, it'll just be whatever numbers I need to add. And it won't be like the old numbers. That's my little my little cue for you if you're trying to do this. 
and you're not using you don't have like a little laptop or something to keep next to you to keep track with the little spreadsheet I just find it easier all right Alton's going back to bed he's not sure if he's done or yet not man all right it's only three o'clock in the morning oh everyone's sleeping because it's speeding up now okay sounds good to me so as you can see this is it at night time it may be dark for you guys I'm not really sure if it is or not oh someone's up because the boat stopped rocking quickly all right is it Alton no it's gotta be something down here oh it's Kara Kara and I think Millie is up as well all right girls what are you guys gonna do today anything good with your life Uh, Carrie, you're just going to stand there and scream that you're hungry. I was going to click on her fridge to see if there's any food in there. Let me just see. Is there food in there? Let's see. Whoops. There is spoiled autumn salad if they want to eat it. Yummy. Nope. She's going to make something. And as you see, she did, it didn't cost her money. Now, if someone else goes over there and it costs them money, it comes out of their own money. So that's why I've been trying to make sure that everyone has, you know, the money that they need to do what they need to do and all that kind of stuff. Millie, where are you going? I mean, there's food right here. You could just cook that up pretty quickly and you'd be fine. Just don't start a fire because that would be devastating. Yeah, buddy, you're not getting in our house. So if that's what you think you're going to do, you're not. Um... What happened to the bad food? Does anyone know what happened to the bad food? Wasn't there like... Did someone eat it? Seriously, someone ate the bad food? Hold on. I have to see this. No. I don't think so. These guys are just getting up out of bed. Oh no, who's that? Someone just had it in their hand. Amelia, you're a good lady. I was going to take care of that, Amelia, but thank you for taking care of that. That's really great of you. Alright, I'm going to let you come over here. Oh, you need to unclog your toilet. You need to use it. You need to shower. How many hours you got? You're not going to have very many, I can tell you that much. And then you're going to go ahead and have breakfast. Um, I'm just going to do a quick meal for you. I'm hoping you can get all that done. And then I'm going to put in there, go to work, because I'm going to choose what you need to do. Oh, I can't because it's not two hours from now. Alton, your carpool is coming. Millie, yours is coming. All right, Kara, you just learned the basics of cooking. Perfect. That means people are getting better. I do want to start upgrading these if I have the time. Um, but I don't have the time right now. And I don't really have... No, not you. I don't really have the money to do it. So that's the problem. Please do not start a fire, Kara. Kara, please take them out. Please take them out. Please take them out. When they're black and smoking, you don't leave them in there. I'm um, sorry, but you don't. Look at all this nasty food. That's just so disgusting. It's because her sink is broken, I think. So she can't really clean them. Yeah, it is. So she can't really clean up very well. It's sad, but that's how it works. You're going to eat that now? Yep. Mmm. Burnt waffles. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, people's carpools are out there. And you're going to see people just teleport out there. It's kind of funny. Um, there you go. I don't know who that was, but they just teleported. And Alton's going to do it here in a second. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know if your guys' sims do that or not, but mine just like teleport out there. And it's not even like they're in the middle of the water, so it would take too long for them to get out there. No, they're just, you know, on the edge of the water and they're just like, hey, I'm going to teleport. Uh, Lena and Veronica's cars are coming now, too. Alright, Abby, I think your carpool is coming soon, too, friend. So why don't I get you up a little bit earlier so you can get this all done. Because that'll be good. If you could get all this done, that'd be really good. Oh, Pandora's downstairs playing with her apples again. <laughs> she plays with them quite often, let me tell you. You got her up a little early so she could fix her toilet because she does need to do that. And I've got her taking care of her needs, so she should be able to do the rest in an hour, I would think. I would hope. If she doesn't get fed, she doesn't get fed. It's not that big of a deal. Really isn't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pause. 
I was not even paying attention. All right, Jacob. It's his turn. I'm about five minutes late, and I don't mean to be, but it happens. Why don't you get up, buddy? Oh, you need to repair your shower? Are you kidding me? Get up and repair that thing. Before you repair it, let's do this. Let's have you eat. So have some cereal. Do you have to work today? You probably do. You work later, though. Uh, you've got eight hours. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. That is not good. All right. Um, you've got eight hours, so you've got plenty of time to get this done. You're one of our very few Sims who's going to be working on bringing back Laron, and she just finished fixing her toilet. All right, so Kara's carpool is coming soon, and an hour Mason's is, Carson's is, Abby's is. As you can see, a lot of people still have their jobs, but they're not doing the greatest in them, so we need to work on cooking with you instead. So let's go ahead and have you serve up a couple of breakfasts. Go ahead and serve up waffles about twice. That'll be good. <laughs> and you need to clean this up, too. And then we need to get you to repair your shower. Look at your mood. Oh my goodness, you are very stressed. We need to get you something fun to do. Oh, you want to buy a rocking chair. And you have, how much did I say you had, Jacob? 648. You've got plenty to buy a rocking chair. Um, I might buy you one and put it out here on your deck so you would actually use your deck. I don't want to fill your house too quickly. Oh, you know what? I could put it upstairs. That would be kind of nice. Make you use your upstairs. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, normally, it's, I believe in living chairs. I believe. Don't hold me to that. All right. Rocking chair. We could get you this one, which is the one that I normally go with. We could go with this one. We could go with this one. Do they have, like, an outdoorsy one? Because that's what I'm kind of looking for. I don't think they do. I think those are the only three that we have. We could go with this. This is pretty cool looking. Um, I would change it to yellow probably. But would you use this upstairs? I don't think so. I think you'd probably use it on your porch. So let's go ahead and give it to you on your porch. Alright, and then let's just change the color of it to yellow. Uh, just this part. doesn't. The rest of it can stay the part color that it is. I'm not worried about the rest of it. We'll just do this color. All right, it's almost done loading, and there it goes. All right, so you've got your yellow chair, and you've got something that you wanted, which is good. I'm happy that you got your thing. All right, what else do you want to do? You want to use your rocking chair. Okay. Ooh, you want to buy a telescope. I want to do that, too. Um. Okay, a fire started on my lot, so let's go see where this fire is. And I'm going to guess it's probably in Abby's house. Abby? Whose alarm's going on? It's not Abby's. I lied. It's not. Okay. Whose alarm is that? Veronica. Veronica, did you go to work and leave your house? <sighs> Thing is, is whatever gets burnt because of this fire, she has to pay for, so not really my fault. The only bad thing is things something like this, we can't get in there to fix it, and I can't unlock her door because it's not fair. So we just have to wait for the fire department, and that's what makes it so that they don't <laughs> they don't ever get what they need done. Alright. Jacob, where are you at? That's not your house. Can you continue cooking? No. Yeah, I don't like when they get close. I'm kind of happy hers isn't next to this wall right here because that could be really bad. And if you look at it, it's really scary. It's a scary fire. I don't know why the fire sound is missing. That's kind of weird. She's going to lose her fridge, her stove. Oh, boy. All right. You're in love with, like, the firefighter? You're crazy. So are you. So are you. Oh, my goodness. Abby, you're late for work now. Pandora, go to work. It's the best I can do for her. I can't tell her to do it again, so. That's the sad part. She's not going to go do her work at all by herself. It's going to be horrible. Go to work. Her whole thing is going to be like, perform job. The firefighters can get in there. They just got to go in there and do it. Yeah, see. They can get in and do it. 
Oh my goodness, she's going to lose her bed. She's lost the counter. She's going to pay a million dollars for this. That was weird. Look at she's going to lose her bed. And this counter. And if that window, that window too. She better not lose her painting. I'll be really angry at her. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Like, all of the men are in love with her. Like, it's crazy. Alright, come on. Get it taken care of, Lainey. Fendora, go do your job, please. I don't think she'll do it on her own. Even if she gets over there, she'll just stand and talk to people. <laughs> Whatever. We got another firefighter because the fire is out of control. <laughs> don't let her lose her bed. I mean, come on. At least let her keep something here. You guys let her lose her counters, her stove. Not her fridge, I don't think. I think they saved the fridge, so that's good. All right, so she just got... Um, if you look at the money, uh, it, all the money that comes from losing stuff also goes to her. So Veronica gets the 240, I think it said, for the fire. Let me see. Yeah, no, 204. So she gets 204 simoleons for having the fire. But then if you click on these, this is 140, so that's subtract 140. That's almost all her money right there. So we'll go ahead and replace it for. This is another 140, so you got to subtract another 140. This could put her in the negative. I'm not even lying to you. This is 400 simoleons, so that's a negative 400. She's horrible. Um, I don't think anything else has to be replaced. I think everything else is okay. While I'm replacing things, uh, Megan, you did not get out of this. You may think you did, but you didn't. Uh, this door for Megan, because she's the one with, that had the fire last time, uh, this is 590 simoleons, Megan, so you got to pay that back. You can't just have other people pay for it for you and think it's going to be okay, because it's not. It's, that's not how it works. All right, so I think we've replaced everything, I think. Yeah, that was a lot of money that we just spent on stupid items. All right, so Jacob, where are you at, buddy? All right, you really need to get in here. Oh, I can't do their own bathroom because the whole point is they're not supposed to have their a community bathroom. All right, well, that's not my problem. All right, cook this, Jacob, and then you'll be good. Pandora, go do your job. Thank you. The guy, you guys should be more careful next time. There's nothing I can do. When it starts like that, I just got to hope that my Sims don't, like, burn or something. I don't know what to say. Um, firefighter lady, what are you doing? I don't think she knows what she's doing. Yeah, we aren't going to be careful next time, okay? We promise. I'm going to have to start trying to get them some better um, stoves. Well, get out of my room. <laughs> Freaking jerk. Get out of my apartment. <laughs> Poor Jacob. He's trying to cook dinner here and or breakfast here. <laughs> he doesn't even know what he's cooking now. Oh, that's gross. Hope no one else eats these. <laughs> he, they won't. Well, maybe because we're going to put them in the fridge. I was going to say, they won't because he'll never put them away. But I'm focused. I'm controlling him so he'll put them away so someone else will eat his licked waffles <laughs> licked waffles all right this is fun for you cooking is fun so that's good all right you want to read a book about cooking Ooh, we could do that you want to buy a telescope i'm going to do that for you because you've got plenty of money um how much was it for your chair i forgot where you are jacob i didn't even write how much your chair was how much was your stupid chair, buddy? Your rocking chair? Hold on, guys. I gotta figure this out. So, Jacob, you paid... I didn't even look at how much it was when I bought it. It's probably really expensive. 420 Okay. Jacob. <laughs> you got $425 worth of the rocking chair when I should have bought you the cheap one for, what was it? 350 Yeah, I should have got that one. Um... All right, Jacob, you had 648, so you're about 243 or $23 short is 200 and $223 enough to buy a telescope. I really don't think it is. 223 
I think it's like 600 or something for a telescope. I think it's really expensive. Yeah, 600. Okay, we're not getting you a telescope. Sorry, buddy. We're not doing that. Not today, anyways. We could do it some other day. You want to take a class in the cooking. I know you do. I should have gotten you to do that instead of buying you a stupid rocking chair, but that's okay. <laughs> that's right. And, Jacob, you just learned the cooking skill. P other people have, like, skill level two, and what are you doing? Oh, boy. All right, well, at least that helped your job. I mean, we may have to take you to the gym to get you a shower because I don't think we're going to have time to fix this and take a shower. So we may have to do that in just a second after you eat. All right, buddy, please don't, like, ruin it. Someone today ins totally insulted my everyday look the other day, and it really bothered me. Please update my look and don't leave a thing out. Um, the only bad thing is, Pandora goes over there to do her job, but she doesn't actually do the job. She just stands over there and talks to people, because for that career, you'd have to control her to do it. Which is really ridiculous. Um, hold on, Amelia! Alright, guys, I know this is kind of semi-cheating, but she can't go over there and take a shower. She has to go to her own house. I guess it's because I, um, need to lock the door again. So let me do that. Hold on. I think it's because I had to replace the door. That's why it's not locked. Okay. Because that's cheating. Because her shower is broken. She can't just go over and use Megan's. That's not That's not appropriate. All right. Let's specify Sims for this door. And the only one who can open this is Megan. All right. So Megan's the only one who can open this door right here. Because that's cheating. Amelia can't use her shower. It's just not right. So that's the only reason I told her to get out of there. I forgot I had to lock it. So that's my own fault. All right, Jacob. When you're done, go ahead and put away the leftovers. And then I'm going to take you out. You have three hours until you need to, uh, well, before you go out, why don't we go over here, just quickly rock in the rocking chair quickly. And then I'll take you out to get a shower before, before work so you could at least be in a good mood for work. So right now you're in a bad mood for work and that's not good but your cooking is great so that's not too bad what do you need to be at a level three all right we'll work on that for you today pandora you just grasp the cooking as well all right that's good a lot of people are learning cooking okay amelia you'll have to find another way to get a shower friend go to the gym <laughs> she won't go to the gym they don't leave the house and she doesn't leave the house at all now because she lost her job so, she's just kind of, you know, standing around doing nothingness all day. So stupid. Alright. Let's quickly get this done so we can get you over there and get you to work. Well, I'm going to get you to get a shower. If you're a little, little, little bit late to work, that's going to be my own fault. But I'm going to get you a shower because you're not going to work like that. That's too stinky. Alright. So, do we got leftovers in here now? Just the waffles. And they go quick. If you think about it, 16 people eating. Food goes really fast. So... What about food to buy, to make stuff? Like, if I were to serve up some lunch. All right, so we still got stuff in there where we could serve up, like, autumn salad or something. All right, once this goes away, we're going to head out. Hey, come on, come on, come on. You've got how long before work? Two hours? Yeah, you need to stop, like, now. Are you ever going to stop on your own? Well, I'm going to tell you to go over to the gym. We live kind of close to the gym. Uh, we live here, and the gym is right here. So, uh, is there any other place close by? Does the beach have a pool? I know it's got a bathroom, so maybe it's got a... Or not a pool, a shower. No, that does not have a shower. Uh, the graveyard. Um, yeah, I'm guessing the ch easiest option is just to go to the gym. So, go visit the Palms Gym, and we're going to get you a shower. And then we'll have to get you to fix your shower later. Jacob. Hello. Focus. Stop doing that. Let's go. Alright. And you want to read a book about cooking? We can absolutely do that after work. Alright. Mason Masterson's co-worker Montel Rubin needs a test subject for a new substance that was created. Does Mason Masterson want to participate in a free sampling test? Sure. Go ahead, Mason. Alright, Jacob, we're going to go out with you. 
All right, drinking that mislabeled liquid seems to have affected Mason, but don't worry, it's not contagious. All right, I don't know what else happened because I can't see the moodlet he gets. Wade, your carpool, Megan's, and Jacob's carpools are all coming. All right, one more floor, or two more floors, and then you'll be good. Well, one more floor with the circul circular stairs. And then you got to climb down a ladder. All right, we need to add money. Hold on, we're not going to work that way. Um, Alton, you got 280 today. So Alton, you made the same thing as you did yesterday, which means you're doing good because if you're keeping a steady number, it means you're doing good. All right, Millie, you're at the end, I believe. And you made 280 as well, which means you're doing well at work as well because you're making the same amount that he's making. Lena, 162 for you. All right, Lena, where are you at? <laughs> 162 is a dollar more than yesterday. So it's a little bit better than yesterday must be. And Veronica, you made 226. So I still don't think you have enough to cover the amount of that damage of that fire. Let me just put that out there to you. Friendliest, friendliest, friendliest friend. All right. There we go. All right, Jacob, go ahead. I know that the stupid carpool already came for him. I'm not worried about it. Uh, Wade, I think your carpool is here, friend. So you're going to have to go. You don't have time to mess around. And I think my game is frozen for a second. It'll do this sometimes, and then I'll come right back. Alright, Jacob. Alright. So, Jacob, let's get over there to the gym quickly. Get your um, shower taken, and then I'll go ahead and get you to work. Um, you work in an hour, so let's kind of push it a little bit here. Yeah, I think you're going to be late. And that's not good because you're already in the negative. We'll just have to make you work hard, buddy. All right. Mason, you just made 197. It's kind of funny how some people don't... Um, have like any negatives on them and then some people have like multiple different ones and it's just weird to look at their what's gonna happen with them alright Mason so you made two dollars less today than yesterday which means you didn't do as great today as you did yesterday that's un un unfortunate alright get out <laughs> I'm not even gonna let him take a full shower because he's gonna be so very late if I do so what he is gonna have to do oh and I can show you while we're here what I did to the gym alright let me show you so outside, I added in um, a, a trampoline that they can jump on. And over here, I just took out some of the tiling and I put in the soccer field and just spray painted it with the grass. On the back side over here, let me show you, over here if it loads up, I put two basketball hoops. I thought that was a pretty nice touch uh, to be able to allow them to do the basketball hoops here at the gym because you know it does build athletic skill and it was a way for me to be able to put it in my town because I haven't really played with it much since I got it but what I have I love so I'm excited about it anyways in these little rooms um it was just like sitting areas pretty much and I just put in the little massage table so they could get a massage if they wanted this was already here so I didn't add anything there um, what I did up here was I added in the little uh, coffee bar. You know what? Forget going to the gym. Just go to work, and we'll do this after you go come back. And while you're there, you need to meet new. You need to meet your coworkers. So go ahead and do that. It already says you're missing work, and I don't really want you to go any ne more negative than you already are. All right, hold on. Before I finish with this, let me just write down these guys' numbers before it goes away, and then I'm like screwed because I don't know how much they made. All right, you made two thirty nine. This is the only bad thing about having so many is I have to pause a lot more because I have to write down their numbers, but I still like it. Carson, you made 127. You made more than yesterday, so that's good. That's a good sign. All right, so let's put it back on play. Um, I just added in the coffee bar. I didn't match it to color. Now thinking of it, it really should be. Um, I put in another treadmill, I believe, over here. Did I put another treadmill in over here? 
I think I did. No, I didn't. I took this seat from in here and I just put another one up here just in case they wanted to sit or they needed more space to sit and eat. Um, I thought that was a nice little touch to add in so they could sit there on the little puzzle piece thing. <laughs> Over here you can obviously see that downstairs I put in the two rock climbing walls. I put in a slide here and a diving board just to finish off the pool. The slide doesn't really make sense, but that's alright. Uh, the rock climbing walls, I thought that was a really nice place to do, put them. There is normally two windows there, but I just took them out. I should have taken the top ones out as well. Just gotten rid of them and did without them. Uh, because they don't really make sense in <laughs> behind that, but that's alright. Anyways, downstairs, I added in... I don't think I added anything right here. Oh, yes, I did. I added in the two little pull-up bars from Showtime. This is where he got arrested, um, Wade, he was doing this, and then he started this, and then he got arrested, so, sorry, buddy. Um, I took out the little seating areas over here and put in a foosball table, just in case we wanted to have some fun. Over here in this little nook area, I put in a computer, so if they want to come over and do something here on the computer, they can. It just gives them other things to use the gym for. Um, over here in this, um, I think I added just in one more of these weight benches, I believe. I believe. Um, I also added in this little uh, darts board, and I think that's all I added in over here. I don't think I really added in anything else. Um, I would like to switch out these showers and make them quicker showers because, like I said, I wanted him to come over and get a shower. And then I realized it was a slow one, so that's kind of why I sent him off instead of coming over here. Um, oh, if Abby doesn't fix her work performance soon, she'll face disciplinary action. Oh, Abby, are you even at work? No. This is why you're going to get demoted or fired because uh, you didn't go to work. It's because of the fire. It really is. It's not even her own fault. It's because of the fire. So you can tell the people who really are trying and who aren't. All right. Xavier Alvaro would like to chat. Does Alton Snyder want to talk? Sure. Go ahead and talk, Alton. All right. You guys are married. This is just weird. It's getting weird between you two. Because I can't control them to talk, so it's up to them if they want to, you know, be in a relationship or not. Um, so I think that's kind of funny. And as you see, he's going up in his work performance just by meeting a couple people. He's got the next two days off, so that's good. Gets a couple of days off, he can rejuvenate himself. Which means I can keep him out until he's dead tired tonight and not have to worry about it tomorrow. <laughs> Alright. It's really hard to make all these people go to work and keep their jobs. It's really crazy hard. So I think this one's more entertaining than the other one because, yeah, it's eight sims on the other one, but they're not, like, you know, as entertaining. There's not this many broken items and things. It's kind of funny. Everyone's, like, <laughs> already stressed out, and it's only the second week of their life. Uh, Lynette, you should put your food away, friend, before it goes bad. She does sometimes put her food away. Her and I think Kara have put it away once but sh uh, please don't put those away. Please clean those up or something. Do something with them. Um, all right, Alton, you're getting some talking. That's good. Uh, Lena and Carson seem to be kind of hitting it off lately. I don't know. I don't know if there's something brewing here or not. Who are you best friends with here? All right, Megan. All right. Megan is your, your go-to gal. <laughs> Alan's in the shower singing to himself. Oh, I think this is a book she actually has to read. So, you go, Veronica. That'll actually get you a promotion. So, you go ahead and read that book because that's good. That's going to help you out. It really is. Some of them have opportunities that they need to do. Jacob doesn't. So, we've got plenty of time with Jacob. Um, but, as you can see, the houses are going to heck. They, are really, they really are. Foul quality autumn salad. That's just disgusting. Amelia... You need a job. You really do. How close are you? Because you've been out of job for a while. Oh, boy. All right. Jacob, when you're done, let's get you over to get a shower at least. That would be good. All right, Jacob, you met a Coney Cajal at work. That's good. Keep meeting some friends. And look at it. It is actually going up, so it's doing better. He's not doing the greatest. A shower would have really done him well because this stinky moodlet is not helping. But, you know, that's okay. Thing is, is I've expanded their lifespan. They've got a lot more time. Um, so they've got plenty of time to get what done what they need to get done. It's just kind of funny that 
a lot of them are just getting fired and getting fired and getting fired because they're not working hard enough when they go there. All right, she did just finish that. Good job, Veronica. That makes me happy because you actually need to do well. I just got you back in work. Let's not get fired again, please. All right, since you're not going up anymore, let's go ahead and work hard. Oh, you're too stressed. All right, fine. <laughs> fine. Look at you, Luke. I'm surprised. You guys don't normally clean, so good job, Luke. Way to take care of your house. No, oh, this and this is just disgusting. And I don't get back to him for a while because he's right there. So, like I said, I've already taken care of Luke once. I'm not going to be able to take care of him again for a little while. Oh, I think we need to wash these. I think we do. All right, before he gets out of work, um, I do want to go up to his room. Nope, that's not you. You're next floor. All right, I just want to see. Megan's here. Kind of, they stick kind of their floors, I feel. Because um, she's really good friends with Veronica, and they share. Oh, no, Veronica and her don't share, do they? Oh, okay. Maybe not. He's just sticking with his floor. All right, we're going to put his diploma up. I do want to get him the, uh, I do want to get him his, pictures tonight so hopefully we can do that all right you're doing better not great but better let's just let you go with that all right so I've got that up for you uh, when you're done let's go ahead and jump over to where you are I want to put out your camera over here because I don't want it because you don't need it okay and you just really need to be the five-star celebrated chef the celebrated five-star chef all right, you need a shower, you need some food, energy, fun. First thing we're going to get you go over to do is we're going to get you to go to the gym because you work right next to it. That's why I said he could go to the gym, but then I realized that it was like already time and it was a really bad shower. So hopefully we can get this done for him pretty quickly. If he ever comes out of work. <laughs> He'll come out. He's got one more minute. All right. So, Wade, you made 76 simoleons. So, let me add 76 to you. Okay. Jacob, you made 136. All right. 136. Uh, yeah. Megan, you made 74. Okay. All right, so we're doing okay. We've got a couple of people working still, but, you know. All right, so let's get you in here. I'm going to get you a shower. All right. I think this one over here is your shower, so go ahead and take a shower. Who's this person? Xavier Alvaro. Or Alvaro, whatever. Who's this person? Tanner York. Okay. Alright, so since he's still hungry, I'm gonna well, since he's hungry, I'm gonna let him come up here and grab a snack. Um if you buy a drink, does it put up your energy? Are you hungry? Sorry about that, guys. I had to yawn. But does it put up your hunger if he were to come up here and drink the watermelon mushroom cloud? We're going to try for nine simoleons. So let me write on his minus nine. It's kind of funny that you actually see that Tanner is actually getting a skill. But, um... He's actually here, so it's kind of funny. But he ain't getting it that fast. I mean, come on. Seriously. <laughs> oh, your phone's going off. Let's answer your phone. Answer your phone. And then come buy your drink. Answer it. Okay, or not. Great, thanks. Seriously, I told him to answer and he just stood there and didn't do it. Why don't you go and clean all of them up, too?
All right. All right, hold on. Don't do that. Because sometimes when I have things clicked for them to do next, they don't actually drink what they're supposed to. So drink that. See, like he didn't drink it. Fine. Get in here. Let's have some green salad. And then let's clean this up. I'm not paying for another meal. I'm sorry. $9 is enough for a drink. And you didn't even drink it. So that just makes me really angry. And then, you know what? You could actually drink one of these. So why don't you drink cappuccino with cinnamon whipped cream? Mmm, sounds delicious. <laughs> Alright, and you're stressed? I'm sorry. I really am. But we're going to have you do something fun. So we'll have, we'll have you go out and have some fun quickly. And then we'll get back down to business. Business, 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 business. <laughs> Alright. So go ahead and do that. Clean up those plates and then drink your little um, energy drink because you're getting down to three hours now. And then you should be good, I would think. Alright, you don't need to clean that up. It'll, she'll clean it up for you. I think she will. I'm not really sure. My goodness. Fine. Clean it up yourself then. Seriously, how many times am I going to have to tell you to clean these stupid things? Clean. 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 Man, that's annoying. That was really annoying. It's from one of the opportunities he got and he didn't actually finish it, so now they're just in his inventory. It's really annoying. <laughs> Please tell me you're going to drink this, too, because I don't really want to have you do this and then you not drink it. This should give you a buzz so you won't get the... Um, you won't be so tired all of a sudden, all the time. Alright, I'm going to speed you up because you're taking way too long to drink this drink. Alright, so you don't feel as tired now. You're okay. You could pretty much keep your sims up constantly if you just kept having them drink coffee. I think that's kind of cool. I never thought about it that way, but you can. You could. Alright, even though you're exhausted, you're not feeling the whole exhaustion idea. So we're going to let you clean the plates and then hopefully you'll get those out of your inventory. And then, okay, we're going to send you over to the library. So let's go ahead and go there. And you want to read a cooking book, so we're going to do that. You want to take a class in the cooking skill. I don't know if you have enough now because you bought that rocking chair. So I'm going to probably say you don't, and we'll just wait until next time to do that. Other than that, you should be okay. All right, Millie, you just grasped cooking. Man, Malcolm, you're a toddler. All right. I'm not really worried about the other people in the town yet. Like I said, yet. I do want to get some of them married. Oh, I was going to go into that. So the reason I'm calling this 24 Little Sims is because at one point or another, I want some of them to have kids. I want some of them to get married and have families. Um, and they're not going to leave. They're going to live right in the house. So eventually, it'll be 24 Sims. Uh, just some of them will have the same color, but we'll take care of them on different days. And that was kind of my idea for the new LP that I'll be doing. Hopefully, you guys like this and you guys will want me to do that LP. Um, but that's what I'm hoping to do anyways. All right, can we read cooking? Are you too bad of a mood to do this? I really hope not. It'll give you fun, so you should be in a pretty good mood to do it. I mean, you're not in that bad of a mood. You are stressed out, but reading a book is always fun for Sims. Just more fun for bookworms, but yeah, you're not going to do it. You're like, I don't think so, lady. All right, so why don't you go ahead and do this then? Why don't you go ahead and play the racing game for like a second and then your high, your fun will be up high enough where you can go ahead and read that book. How about that? How about that, sir? You're probably going to be too tired by the time you get to that point. I'll be, I'll be really angry if you are. <laughs> I'll probably like punch someone in their head. Alright, just once this gets into the green, we'll be good. Or once we get rid of the stress moodlet. But I don't think you're really going to get rid of that anytime soon-ish. Because he's going to have to have a lot of fun to get rid of that pretty quickly. 
All right, you just grab space. It's a social networking. Wow. All right, stop playing. Six hours isn't bad to be strained. Sleeping will help you with that, too. I just want you to read so you can get to your next level. That's going to be fun for you. It's going to be fun. You, you're going to you're gonna see. <laughs> He's probably like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know if reading logic and or skill books, I don't know if they're actually fun for them, but we'll take you home. We'll let you rock in your little rocking chair. That's probably what he's going to do for the rest of his life. He's just going to rock in his rocking chair like an old man. He's never going to go back to bed again. <laughs> I don't blame him. <sighs> Can we take this book with us? <laughs> I'd really like to get this done. We just read the book. Don't we get the points? I mean, come on. Give us the points. Do we get the points? No. Why don't you go ahead and just take a nap? I have you until 7 in the morning, so I can play with you until then. Alright, go ahead and just take your nap quickly, and then I'll let you go ahead and do what you need to do. But I don't really think you need to do much other than that. What was that? What happened? Uh, you just burned the meal. Okay. Well, and you learned cooking. Alton, your carpool is coming in an hour. Millie, yours is coming in an hour. Jacob, you're sleeping on a community lot. Yeah, that's normal. That's a normal situation for us. Uh, there aren't any books in that bookshelf that Jacob can read. Are you sure? <laughs> because we were just reading one out of that bookshelf. So, I'm a little confused. Maybe it's because he's sleeping? I have no idea. Uh, it's kind of weird. Lena, your carpool. Veronica, your carpool is coming. Sounds interesting. Are you done napping now? Alright. Now let's read cooking. You should have a good enough mood now where you can come over here and read this cooking book for at least a little while. You're not even that tired now. You don't even feel the tiredness that you have. Veronica, you just grass cooking. Everyone's getting cooking because they keep cooking, as you can see. Kara, your carpool is coming. Mason, your carpool is coming. Carson, your carpool is coming. Abby, your carpool is coming. Phew! We've got lots of people with carpools on their way. Alright, just read this until your skill improves and then I'll feel good about you. About what you've done for today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, I totally suck at this. Um, I got distracted by reading and I went over by like 20 minutes. That's horrible. But, um, sorry Megan. I didn't mean to not be over on you today. Um, Alright, Megan. He probably wouldn't even have read that book. I probably should have just stopped him because it's not really that fair. But, he'll stop when he wants to. Alright. When you get up, the first thing you need to do is eat. And I know there's leftovers in here. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, and there's another fire. How could I have guessed? Who's got their fire alarm going off? Veronica, are you serious? <laughs> this is why I'm saying this is enticing. <laughs> it's enticing. Oh my goodness. Alright, you have to go to work, not for seven hours. It wasn't the most satisfying read, but there was some good tidbits hidden within the pages. Your boss is quite happy with you today. Your job performance has also improved. This is freaking ridiculous. She just burned this stuff yesterday. We replaced it for her. Now today is another day, and it keeps doing, she keeps doing the same thing, which keeps making the same people miss their job. Oh my goodness. This is really aggravating. Someone's not going to work. That's supposed to be going to work. And I don't know who it is. And I can't look to see who it is and tell them to go. Alright, Jacob, you got your cooking skills to level 2. You can now make grilled cheese and goopy carbonara. Oh boy. Pretty much everything we just replaced yesterday, we're going to have to replace again today. Fire truck here? Yeah, the firemen are here. Firemen and women. Freaking ridiculous. You're late to work, Kara. 
Carson, you just saw a ghost. Abby, you saw a ghost. Okay. Well, at least I know some of you got out to work, at least. I think that's Kara's car who's out was out there, but she's here probably at the house freaking out about the stupid fire. Oh, it's aggravating. It is really aggravating to have to deal with this every single day. This is why I want to get better stoves. Or at least start getting people to the, the handiness skills so they can start upgrading them so that they're, like, fireproof. That would be good, too. But I think a better stove, anyways, is good because this gives you the uneven cooking moodlet. So it's just, it's just not that good. Uh, you're standing in fire, person. Autumn Hansen. I would feel really bad if you died coming here to <laughs> do our fire again. So please don't die. Oh, my goodness. It's just ridiculous. Please get the fridge. That's really expensive. And the stove is expensive. Oh, my goodness. She is ridiculous with her stupid fires. Please tell me it's not another fire. Please just tell me that's that one. <laughs> I would get so angry. I really would. I would be so angry right now if someone else's house was on fire too. I guess it would be a good time to do it right now, but I don't really want people to keep losing all this money. And there's nothing I can do for her. Like, seriously. She's over here, so there's not even like... I could tell her to come home and do it, because it's not even like I could do that. All right, Carson was tasked with filing envelopes all day. At first, it was easy to zone out, but after a couple of hours, things really things really started to drag. At the end of the day, Carson ended up with a dozen paper cuts in a very bad mood. All right, so the insurance granted Veronica, again, 267 simoleons. That is not that much money to cover all of her losses, which is another day of losses. So it's another 400 it's eight hundred dollars she spent on stoves in the last two days. Uh, one forty, which means there's another one forty, cause, um, cause she's got that next counter burnt as well. So that's like two hundred and eighty simoleons right there. And then so let me replace that one. And then she's got to replace this as well. Which, this little chair cost 40 simoleons. She's almost filled all the lines that I have for her. And I gave them each 24 lines because it was like one day, one for each day. She seems to want to, you know, just pack them in. Alright, hold on. Megan, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I would not go talk about the heat with somebody. Um, let me go ahead and let you serve up some breakfast. Why don't you serve up some waffles? You've got plenty of time to do what you need to do, and you don't really have a lot you need to do. I don't. Your shower is not broken; just your toilet needs to be unclogged, and that's easy. We can do that pretty quickly. So let's get you taken care of, get your food done, and get this in the fridge for everyone else who needs it. Now she doesn't want to buy anything either. She wants to do a strength workout, meet a vampire, um, take a class in the athletic, and learn the athletic. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I really had to sneeze. Um, you guys should be more careful next time. Yeah. I know. I told you last time we were going to be careful, and look what happened. So I'm not going to promise nothing to you this time. All right. Do you have any skills? No. She doesn't even know cooking, so this could be de de devastating. But, you know, I'm here, so if it actually starts a fire, I can actually click out of it, you know, and start fixing things. So that'd be good. Um... All right, while Megan's doing this, let me calculate up what she's got for money today so I can find out what we can do with her. So um, the last time I was calculating up Megan's money, she was negative 13. I have to add 78 simoleons to that, then subtract 40, subtract 590, and then add... 74. She's at negative 941. Megan, you are not doing very well either. You guys are really making me angry. You guys are like all going negatives. Alright, negative. Well, not all, but you know. Negative 491. Alright, so I can erase all the numbers I have written down for her and she does burn that she's totally putting that uh, she's totally eating that I don't care if it's burnt or not she's totally eating it I'm not cooking her anything else 
So, Megan, sorry to tell you that you burnt your meal and you got to eat it. <laughs> but you do. Mason, you're going to lose your job now, too. Oh, goodness gracious. Everyone's not going to have a job. How about that? Millie, too. <sighs> this is really frustrating. All right. Grab a plate. I don't even care if you get sick or not. Grab a plate. Then put it away. <laughs> you're making me angry. Unplug, unclog the toilet, use the toilet, take a shower, and then how many hours do you have left? Probably not very many because we wasted them all with the stupid fire. <sighs> Alright, after that, I'm going to take you to your job right here. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to... Nope, you can't take a class, so you're just going to go to work. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to have you actually take the class because I knew you wanted to. And then I remembered, no, she's negative some amount of money. So she already owes her roommate that amount. So that's just sad. That is really sad that she's like negative that much. It's bad. It's really bad for her. Okay. Some people are having fits. All right. The carpool for Wade will come in an hour and Megan. So Wade and Megan, you two need to go to work. How many of you guys have jobs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hospital delivery. The board has drafted a report on quarterly revenue earning potential for their business partners at the hospital. Quickly deliver this report to the hospital and your superiors will make sure you're gi given a com compensation. All right, Com compensatory. Okay, I can't say the word today. Um, raise. Um, okay. All right, so is that eight? Um, nine, ten, eleven. All right, twelve out of sixteen. I guess it's not too bad, but with about two more about out, that's ridiculous. So. <laughs> 12. That would mean half of the people would have no jobs. That is ridiculous. Alright, can you please fix this? And I do want you to clean up all the stupid black marks on your floor. So I'm going to probably have to do is I'm probably going to put this stuff in our inventory and then allow her to clean up and then put it back after she's done. But I don't think she's going to have time before she goes to work. I really don't even think she's going to have time to take a shower because her carpool is going to be here in about an, a minute. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so after you're done peeing, go to work. Alright, Alton, you got 280 today at work. Which is what you got yesterday, so that's good. You actually got that the last two days at work. Um, Veronica, you got 227. You're going to need it, girlfriend, so you better make sure you're doing well at work because you're going to need the money. Millie, you made 279. Alright, well at least you didn't lose your job. I mean, that's good. Uh, Lena, you made 161. Mason, you made 196 and at least you didn't lose your job too. It'll probably happen tomorrow. I'm not going to lie to you. Mason, 196. You're making about the same every single day, so I don't know how you're doing so bad in work, but okay. All right, what do you need to do at work? You need to meet your team members, and you're in a good mood, so don't even start with me that you can't do well, because I will smack you right upside the head. <laughs> Joel Rodell, Joel Rodell. Joel is my step, my, not my stepbrother, um, my brother-in-law's name. Abby, you've made 143. 143. Please go to work. Carson, you made 141. That's the most he's made at work in a long time, so that's good. That means he actually went on time, probably. Oh, non-like Megan, who makes barely no money at all, and 
<laughs> it's going to take her thousands of years to pay off 491 simoleons worth of damage that she's made to the house. So that'll be exciting. All of these people are going to be in negatives. Or the people that are in negatives, they're never going to get out of the negatives. Because they either don't have a job or they don't have enough a big enough paying job right now to even get close to get out of that. Alright, Alan, you just peed yourself. Well, that happens. That happens to the best of us, friend. All right, you should be perfectly fine. I mean, seriously, your mood should be, like, fantabulously great. You've got only one positive moodlet, and you can't even be in, like, a good mood. <sighs> what the heck am I sitting on? Like, why is this up this high? Oh, it's a stupid big mountain. Stupid mountain. <laughs> you know what would be really cool up here, though, is, a, like, a little, like, lookout lot. Where you could look out over. Think about it. This view is beautiful. Could you imagine being able to see this from your house? We should. I should put a lookout lot up here. I don't know how you'd really get up there. You'd probably have to run all the way up this stupid thing. That'd be ridiculously long. But it'd be worth it just for the view <laughs> once you got up top. I think anyways. Alright, how are you doing at work? Your mood's not really... Or your work's not really moving. I may make you work hard, even though you need to meet all your team members, because it is pretty important, but you need to be working hard, probably. Alright, well, I'm going to jump over to the house and see what's happening over there, because I don't really want to stare at a building. And it's pretty enticing over here. I mean, come on. We've got lots of things burning down. <laughs> People are go breaking things. All right, we could do this. Registering the roster. The team needs you to drop off these roster registration forms at City Hall soon, or else the team could get in trouble for filing late. Go to City Hall to perform the delivery, and you'll win the favor of your boss, as well as a job and performance b increase. Absolutely, we'll do that right after work. So we'll head right on over there, and we'll get those taken care of. So don't you worry about us. We'll get them taken care of. All right, so you take care of that while I look at and see what everyone else is doing. Amelia's in her house, but she's not really doing anything. Veronica, you're showering, which means you probably just got home. Carson, you're probably going to go to bed, like you always do. <laughs> These people sleep like 24-7, I swear. All right, so you're going to bed. Luke, you're just down here. Oh, look at Abby over there trying to schmooze Alan. Oh, and you're just staring here next to the shower, doing nothingness. Kara, you're here. Lynette's here. Lynette, you didn't put those that food away at all. And Lena is in bed. Carson, you're getting sick. Oh, and Millie's in bed. And Pandora. Oh, boy. At least you guys are eating something. What are you eating? Are those the ones that Lynette... Are those... Oh, no, those are prepared by you. Please tell me you did not get those off the counter. If those are, like, stinky as a mother, and they are. Alton, you are just one gross man. He, like, came over and licked a bowl that was on his table that had flies flying around. It was disgusting. This is when I wasn't recording, but it was disgusting. And I was, like, gagging over here. He's gross. All right, there's Veronica. How is your work doing? All right, since it's not going up, I guess you can't work hard. You don't have that option. You don't have the option. You don't have the option to push yourself. You can slack off. You can hang out. You can meet them. You can work out in the gym, and that's about it. So, let's see. If I do work out in the gym, does it go up? No. So, what's the difference? None. Are these what we made? Yeah, they're what we made. And Alan's going to eat them. <laughs> It's pretty funny, actually. Yeah, it's delicious, isn't it? Burnt waffles. Yuck. Look at this house. It is just... It's so bad. <laughs> it really is. It's just disgusting. It's so gross. And I think she fixed her toilet. And her shower's not broken. Her sink's not broken. She does need to clean it, though. Um... But she's actually doing pretty good for the people who live here. She's, like, got the best house. Even though she set it on fire once, that's okay. She's still doing kind of the best out of them all. But her job is just 
they're all doing really bad at their jobs. I don't know why. I think it started out with because a lot of them can't get a shower, first of all. And second of all, their house is filthy. Third of all, like, they had that really bad start when they were mourning forever. And they couldn't, like, actually mourn the tombstone because it's in someone's inventory. I think it might be in either in Alton's or Luke's. I can't really remember. One of those two I think it's in. It might even be in Lena's. I can't remember. Anyway, so it's in one of their inventories, so they couldn't really, like, go over and mourn it, so it didn't really help. So they were just running around, and they were, like, really upset, and they wouldn't, like, go to work and things. So it started them off bad. And then, like, they'd go back. By the time they could go back to work, they were stinky and in a bad mood. So now they're just, like, losing their jobs left and right. That's why I kind of hope Veronica's doing good, because I just got her her job back. And I'd be really upset with her if she just lost it again. Because it gives her a fresh start. So I'm hoping the fresh start is making it better. Plus they don't really have much to do here for fun. So they're just kind of stuck here and they don't really go and do anything. Which I think is kind of like an EA thing. Like they should have given them the option to like leave the lot. But they don't. They just like stick on the lot forever. So that's that's sad too. We do need to get her to get the mail. I want her to go over and get... Um, something to eat, get something for her energy, hygiene, and I want her to work out at the gym. So, or we could go someplace else actually to work out. Where else could you go to work out? Let's see. We could go... Who's this? That's Jacob. Um, ooh, we could go and use the soccer thing at the festival. So, after you go and deliver them, let's go ahead and go over here and we'll... Uh, work out with the little soccer net. That'll be a good way to work out. I know that it pumps you up, but she'll be okay. We're not going to play with it that long, so. Just want to get her her first um, skill, at least. Alright, Megan, come on. She's got like two minutes. Alright, so Wade, you made 73 simoleons. He makes, like, nothing. I think he works the same career as she does, to be honest with you. Okay, and Megan, you made 71. That's a little bit of help towards what you need to do. Uh, you met Theodore Medina at work. Alright, are you going to deliver this? Oh, don't start with me on this. <sighs> what time does she have to do this? 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Do you work tomorrow? Yeah. 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Which means I'm not going to get done with her what I need to get done with her. And she can't eat here. Oh, yes, she can. She can get a snow cone. Okay, so come over here. And we're going to get you a snow cone. And then we're going to let you... Um, use the bathroom there because they're the all-in-one showers or bathrooms or whatever they call them and you get your shower up and then energy you're just gonna have to suffer for a little while and then we're gonna work out with the soccer net because I want to get you your athletic skill and I think that's a pretty good and easy way to get you your your athletic skill or I think no snorkeling isn't actually the scuba diving skill I was gonna say snorkeling she could get it but I don't think she'll get it that way so and don't be like, well, you could pick flowers and make money because um, I don't really like to do that. I think it's, in a way, kind of cheating. So use the bathroom, and then let's make you a snow cone. Let's make you a rainbow snow cone. Sounds exciting. All right. I use this bathroom a lot. I use these bathrooms to my advantage. I use this lot a lot, to be honest with you. Um, you guys are done working, so you guys could go home if you want. It's up to you guys. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, I use it a lot because I'll like, have them come over here and get a quick dinner. Or, like I said, we could get a free snow cone. Um, I use the bathrooms because it's like an advantage. You, you know, you get like your bladder and your hygiene all in one. So I like that too. Alright, and when you're done, I want you to come over here and practice. Um, so yeah, so I like that, um, and for her, I think she's eco-friendly, so she likes, like, saving, yeah, so she likes saving water and things. So the all-in-one shower is her way of saving water because she does her bathroom and her hygiene at the same time, so that's good. 
And she does get this moodlet, saving water from all in one bathroom. It says, conserving water is something all Sims should do, whether they live in arid desert or a lush jungle. You can always run out of water, though. It doesn't matter. Okay, so get your hunger up, and then we'll get you over to do this. I know you're a little bit tired, but I don't think it should be too bad. If so, we'll take a nap, and then we'll play. Um, you have 16 hours until you go back to work, so we're fine. Oh, I thought that was um, Jacob. I was like, what is Jacob doing? But it's Matthew Mango. Matthew, ooh, mangoes sound good right now. <laughs> I'm such a random person, ain't I? All right, so you do need a nap then. All right, take a nap. It's just, they're tired all the time. I think it's because I run them ragged, kind of in a way. Um, do you need to read this? No, you did. All right, we're going to leave this here at the festival lot. Can we do that? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Well, that stinks. What is this lot over here? What is it, though? Oh, it's a garden. Well, that's cute. All right, so you're sleeping here, and ah, oh, you had a cute moodlet. I was gonna read it, but I missed it. I didn't get some people their pictures still, and I know we're we time just flies in this game. Like I don't have enough time to do what I want to do, so I get kind of angry. But um. Anyways, what I was saying is, um, time just flies. Like, it's already midnight, and I feel like I just switched over to Megan, so I always feel like I'm kind of at a disadvantage, and I don't have, like, enough time with them, but you're only supposed to have 24 hours. That's why. But a lot of it, if you think about it, the first 24 hours I got her, she was sleep, or the first 24, the first, like, couple of hours, at least, like, five, six hours, she was sleeping, so we really couldn't do anything with her. Then she got up, then we ma wasted time with the fire for a good, probably, two, three hours, and that's about eight hours right there. That's almost half of her day that we waste, it got wasted, so I didn't really get to do anything with her. So, it's kind of a disadvantage, and a lot of my sims, like her especially, I can't really do anything with her because I, I can't buy her a new stove or anything, like a nicer stove or anything, but she already owes so much for the fire she already set. Veronica's never going to get anything new. She's like almost maxed out on things that I can write for her. She's crazy. I'm just going to start. She's got a big space compared to everyone else. So if she runs out of space, I'm just going to start another line for her because she is like crazy with these fires. And she's making other people lose their jobs because of her. Because she's so freaking crazy. And she doesn't know, like, to stop. And she doesn't, like... It's because she starts to cook right before she leaves. Like, don't do that. Don't cook right before you leave. But they're not smart enough to know that. If she did it, like, right before she left and then she didn't put it in the friggin' oven all the time, it wouldn't start a fire. And then it wouldn't be, like, a big deal. She could come home and finish it. But Sims are just crazy. They're crazy people. All right, lady. Let's get you over here. After you get probably a good skill or two, I'll probably let you go home and sleep. Because you got to work in 14 hours. So I'm going to probably let you stay here for about two to three hours. And then you're going home and you're going to take care of the other needs. Look at, you have no shoes. Half of my Sims don't get shoes for f f stupid, um, um, they don't get shoes for their every, or their outerwear, it's, or their work stuff. It's funny. Um, okay, I'm trying to make it brighter. But it's just like, it's not going brighter. I don't know, it's weird. It's weird because there's like dark spots. There's spots, spots like right here that's really bright. And then like where she is, it's dark. So it's kind of funny. Oh, this gives you fun? Oh, I'm going to have to do this more often. I had no idea. I mean, I've used this stupid thing, but not in this LP. So I didn't know that this gave you fun. Because a lot of times my sims don't have fun. Because they don't have anything to do with their freaking house. Because they keep wasting their money on fires. I thought one time all my sims were going to die. 
Amelia set a fire, and her stove is right next to the hallway, and it actually went into the hallway, and it was, like, catching my Sims on fire. Thank goodness the fire people came, because, like, four of my people, I think, were on fire at one time. Oh, my God. It was so scary. I was, And it was right after LaRon had passed on, too. So it was really scary. Uh, why'd you stop? Go ahead and practice. We're just going to let you do this a couple of times. Um, yeah, it was really scary, and I was like, oh my god, they're all gonna die! And then they didn't, and I was like, whew, you know, like, good thing they didn't, because it'd be ridiculous. Anyways. The bad thing is, I'm not gonna be able to do this opportunity for her, but it's okay, because hopefully next time I get her, she'll actually have time where we can do it. She should be able to do it in the morning, though. Possibly when she gets up from work, from sleeping. So I might ha send her out. Might set her up to do what she needs to do and then send her out. And hopefully she won't be late to work. Because she's already in the red. Not too bad, but not like some of the other ones I've gotten on. They're like way down here. And I'm like, oh my god. And that's probably why they keep getting fired. But, and also because they don't really have the skills that they need. I don't have the time to be here to take care of her and give her the skills she needs. So, that's a sad thing. I really just don't have the time to do it. Once she gets the skill, I'm going to send her home, and we'll let her go to bed, and then I'll click for her to take care of her bladder, hygiene, hunger, and then I'll send her over to do the, um, well, I can't, because I don't think I can actually even click it until, like, 9 in the morning. Freaking ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, anyways... Alright, Carson, you're up to cooking skill level 2. That's good. That means people are actually doing it. And I haven't seen money coming out for the fridge recently either, so it makes me feel a little bit better. Alright, you want to go jogging. So, instead of doing this now, let me go ahead and let you... I'm going to have you jog over here. Alright, so extreme jog here. Just don't break a sweat. And then, we're going to have you use the bathroom. We'll have you grab another snow cone, and then we'll have you go home. That's that's my plan for you today. Because you've got about three hours, so... I was going to have you worry about this stuff later, you know, once you got up. I think it's better to do it now. That way, in case she's sleeping right up until the carpool comes, at least she can go ahead and take care of her other needs later. Alright, so use this. That didn't work. Oh, that stinks. Alright, go ahead and make a snow cone. Make a lemon one and this thing's really fast compared to her bathroom it's like a thousand year a thousand miles faster so that's good all right megan go ahead and grab your snow cone and then i'm gonna send you home It's about 5 in the morning now, and she's still up, which is horrible. But she works later in the day, so it kind of makes more sense that she sleeps at night. My cousin sleep, er, works overnight, so she like, sleeps the whole day away. And I'm always like, I don't understand how you do that. But for her, it's normal because she's up all night. I'm up pretty late, but, I mean, sometimes I'm up until like 3, 4 in the morning. So <laughs> Last night I was up until 5. I was playing this, and I was having a blast. Plus, I was building and stuff, and I wanted to actually be able to get into it and play with it for a little while, so I did. Anyways, that was my point, that, you know, some people could be up all night and it not bother them, and then other people, they're like, oh, I can't, I couldn't be up all night, I, I have to be to bed in, like, 10 o'clock, and I'm like, oh my god, 10 o'clock, but, um, yeah, so she's on that kind of different schedule than a normal person would normally be on you'd normally sleep at night time but for her it's normal to sleep like in the morning be up at night when you know she had the time even though she was tired I kept her up a little bit later than normal but she'll be all right it's not going to take her that long to sleep anyways I hope not I gave him the cheapest of the cheap beds too which is so bad because this house was like, really expensive it was like 177,000 most of it though to be honest went into um all right, don't do this yet. Hold on. <laughs> Most of it, honestly, went into building the house, like the walls and things. It didn't actually work for um, 
it wasn't actually for like anything else it was that it was the walls and the wall paperings and all that so Lena's carpool and Veronica's carpool is coming all right you can stop and I'm gonna let you go to bed even though you have that 16 minutes where you're still you still don't feel tired you're still tired we know you're tired so it's just best to let you go to sleep and then in the morning when you well and later when you get up let's go ahead and let you eat if the autumn salads in there go ahead and eat it and then hopefully you'll be good after that I'm hoping you will be and we gotta pay bills today which really stinks but that's right It's almost time to switch over to Alan. And I think Alan doesn't have a job anymore, so I think we have to get him his job again. Does he have a job? Let's look. Nope, he doesn't. We have to get his job again for him. So I hope he's ready because <laughs> I'm pretty angry that all these Sims keep losing their jobs. But good for you. Uh, Megan for getting the skill that you need for your work. That's good. Alright. One minute and it's time to switch over. Alright. Stop. What do you need to do? First off, the first thing I noticed is you need to clean stuff, but with this spouting water of nothingness, you can't repair this because your mood is too low. Because you're hungry. Because you don't take care of yourself. Alright. Oh my god. Everything in your house is broken? Like, seriously? Alright. It looks like you just took a shower. Well, since there's a big puddle of nothingness on your floor, you might as well just use your toilet. You need to clean this before you can use it, because I'm not going to let you do that. And you need to eat some autumn salad that's in here. Actually, just eat the autumn salad, then we'll get you to clean up. How about that? So, clean that up. Alright. It looks like people are actually going today. Veronica, you're not going to start another fire today, are you? Please don't start another fire. I really don't want to deal with another fire today. Carson, your carpool's coming. Kara, your carpool's coming. Abby, your carpool's coming. Mason, your carpool's coming. People, get out there and get your jobs. All right, so Alan, you want to learn this street art skill. Do you have a street art kit in your inventory before I go buy you one? That is an N to the O. Okay, let's hang up, put this up for you. Did you read this? Yes, you did. Good man. All right. So you want the street art skill, and you want to get the guitar skill. Okay. Alan, I didn't count up how much you have. And I know I'm going over what I wanted to do, which is the two-hour special. But this is an Easter special, so come on, guys. Be enthusiastic about it. All right. Alan, you had 314 I need to add 125 to that for you and then subtract the 40. All right, you've got 399 simoleons to work with, Alan. So you're not doing too shabby there, buddy. But getting a job would be a help, not going to lie. I already got you a job once. How many times am I going to have to do it? Nobody knows. All right, so let's go back. We're going to have to go back and get you your job in just a second. But you want the sh to learn the street art skill. So I'm going to get you your street art bag, which is in entertainment, I believe. Yeah, it's right here. So your street art bag is worth 40 simoleons. So I need to subtract 40 from your next week's thing. Okay. Um, so you've got that. And then you want to do guitar, but you want to do the class. You don't really have enough to do the class, so I probably should have just bought you a guitar, but that's all right. All right, well, I guess we're going to end it here because, you know, we've done quite a bit. We've went through Abby and Jacob and Megan, and now we're into Alan. When you guys come back, I'm hoping the house does not look this horrible and it's more fixed up and looking pretty like it did when we first moved in. Um, but I'm not going to promise nothing. I'm hoping Veronica, down here, she can stop burning our house to the ground almost. So that would be great. Um, Carson, put your pancakes away. <laughs> she does not have something in this oven, does she? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just checking because I'm starting to freak out that she does now. 
Um, anyways, so if you guys like this, let me know because I can do more regular updates on it. If you guys hate it and uh, don't want to see any more of it, let me know also. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that I want to do this as an LP. I want to do this, maybe not this household, but I want to do something like this. Um, it could be in Isla Paradiso. Um, but I like my Eight Little Sims. I just think this one's a bit more challenging, especially with everyone losing their jobs and everything. And I like that there's like witches here and there was a vampire and we're going to try and resurrect him. Um, so uh, let me know if you guys want to see another one of these come out because I do have a couple of LPs that I think are going to be ending shortly. Um, let me mention them off to you since this is special. It doesn't really matter how long it goes, right? Not really. Um, Midnight Hollow has about nine more LPs. Um, one of them should already be up, but like I said, I'm running behind. But I have some that are going up. That's why I haven't really been focusing on them right now. Um, and then behind that, I have about 20 more for Island Paradise. And then I have about 30 more for the University and World Adventures. So those ones will be ending soon. Um, and then we could probably stick one of this in there. Probably if Midnight Hollow ends, I'll probably stick in this kind of an LP. Um, and then after that, like when Island Paradise ends, I'm probably going to do my Roaring Heights LP and do that world. To be honest, I've never played in Roaring Heights, so I don't even know really what it looks like or anything about it. So it'll be exciting for me and you guys both. Um, but let me know what you guys want to do. I also have a big announcement video that's going to be coming up. I keep saying this and I just keep forgetting to actually make it. But I do have it coming and it's going to be a contest where you guys can enter in all of your sims that you guys want to enter. I'm thinking probably up to like five sims. They can have any traits or anything like that so you guys could do that too. Um, and what they're going to be doing is they're going to be competing in a contest um, challenge that I have coming up. But that challenge, I still got to work out the rules, so it's not really coming in the nearest future as of right now. It, I can always add more to the schedule. I just can't really take away unless something ends. So I've got about three of them that are going to be ending soon. If I do Roaring Heights, it's only going to be 20, so that it'll be really like four pretty soon. So really, I've got a couple of spaces open, and um, just let me know if you guys want to see this as an LP. Um, it would be called 24 Little Sims, or we could name it something else. Um, if you guys have a suggestion of what you would like to, uh, if you guys would like to see this or not, let me know. Uh, if you have a suggestion for a different um, title for it, let me know. I kind of think it's cool for the 24 Little Sims. Um, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. I'd probably use something kind of like this. I could even do a building episode maybe of the house that I build for the other one. I'm not really sure. But anyways, if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Again, happy Easter to you all, and I hope you had a great, great holiday. Um, and you get, I hope you guys had some nice weather like I did. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.